The movie began with the Justice League dealing with a mysterious villain until Robin went with a reckless move that led them to victory leaving them with no clues. We'll be recapping the movie The Justice League vs. The Teen Titans. In response to Robin's action, Batman sends Nightwing to drop Robin off in a school, where he'll learn how to cooperate with people. His new teammates are Blue Beetle, Raven, Garfield and Starfire. They all came to welcome him but wasn't interested in their greetings. Back to the Justice League, Superman had a date with Diana but as he wanted to do some laundry, he got possessed by Trigon's demon. In the tower, Robin had a serious fight with Blue Beetle. As Robin defeated him, Blue Beetle angrily blasted his face causing serious burns on Robin's face. Raven healed him with her powers and went through his past and passed out. Meanwhile, Cyborg and Batman made an investigation on the incident that happened earlier. Moving on, as Robin was practicing, he threw his sword to the wall which made him spot Raven outside. He went to see her and thanked her for saving him but suspected something was going on within her. Batman noticed something was off with Superman, so he used kryptonite to defend Diana. Robin starts his research on Raven and tries to persuade Starfire that Raven is hiding something from them. On a video call with Nightwing, it dawns on Starfire the team can get along by having fun. Back to Superman, the demon made him lift a ritual stone underneath the desert. Starfire plan worked perfectly, they all got along. As Robin and Garfield was competing, Raven had a call and followed it without anyone noticing. She met her demons but didn't meet Trigon, her father, in person. All he wanted was for her to join him in taking over the earth, but she refused and faced her demons. Her combat with her demons drew the attention of the people. Her team then came to her rescue. She used her inner demon to end the fight for now. At the end of the fight, her team wanted answers. She then teleported them to an abandoned place to open up to them. She recalled her mother was a member of a cult. They deceived her to marry their son who happened to be Satan, but she didn't realize that moment. As both of them were about to have sex, he transformed to his demonic form leaving her in shock. She then left the cult and got help by the people of Azeroth. Raven, who didn't know the consequences of what she was doing, summoned her father which made him to find their hiding place and destroyed it right before her eyes, including her mother. Before he could use her, she used Azeroth crystal to trap him but couldn't watch over him because she needs a family, so he escaped. Raven then teleported them back to the tower. Suddenly, the Justice League came because they wanted Raven who turned out to be a suspect, the demons then possessed the Justice League except for Batman who quickly injected himself with nerve toxin to kill the poisons in his body. The possessed Justice League then faced the Teen Titans and threatens to kill them only if she complies. She agreed and went with them. But as they were going, Blue Beetle shot Cyborg making him free from the demon. Thankfully, Robin had a tracking device on Raven the first day they met. Cyborg and the Teen Titans had a plan to defeat the demons. Reaching there, the ritual had begun. Robin stabbed Superman with the kryptonite to free him, while the others helped Raven. The ritual made Trigon come in a giant form, and the only way to put an end to this was to go to hell and trap him in the crystal. Reaching there, while they were facing demons, Raven then used her powers to unlock where the crystal is hidden, but a man from nowhere broke it to pieces. Robin appeared in the scene and defends Raven. To his shock, it was his grandfather, Ra's al Ghul. He then faced him while Raven puts an end to her father. Later, she decided to stay back and watch over him but Robin gave her reasons to come back to the team which she reasoned. But were the crystal. The Justice League thanked the Teen Titans for saving them which brings us to the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more actions on this channel.